Hello, Connecticut. Chris German coming to you here live from the uh, hills of the quiet corner here in Connecticut inside my car. That's where I only get a piece of quiet these days is inside my car. Um, I am parked and I am not, in fact, using my cell phone while I'm driving. So uh, there is no evidence of any kind of illegal action taking place right here, right now. Uh, but I wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on with CCB. Um, the last I heard, we spoke with the New Haven Register a couple days ago. I haven't seen the article come out yet, but um, the word is, is that Bill Coleman has five uh, grievances that he has listed against CCB, among which are the lack of insurance that we have, uh, the fact that there's not a lot of people using the facility anymore, um, the boathouse and the DEP. Uh, I find that kind of ironic because the city of Bridgeport was the one that initiated the complaint with the DEP up against the boathouse. And so now they're complaining about the boathouse because of the initiated complaint that they lodged, even though the DEP said, we don't really have a problem with the boathouse. And in a letter that the DEP sent to us three weeks ago, the DEP said, we recognize that the United States Coast Guard and the Department of Motor Vehicles have registered this thing as a legal entity in the state of Connecticut, and otherwise it is perfectly legal. We just choose not to follow that aspect of the law, and we're not going to buy it. So the, the, the DEP is right now spinning, as is the city, I think, because we are officially legally represented now, which is very, very cool. We do have a lawyer that has taken on our case. Um, we will be uh, disclosing all that information to the proper legal officials when they decide to stick their head up and uh, continue to uh, persecute us and see where it goes from there. But uh, that may not, in fact, be necessary because we may have a place to move. We may be, maybe, maybe be take, trying to take this thing over to the Housatonic River, which is the river which bore me. That's my home river. Uh, I would love to be in the Housatonic River if the town of Stratford will welcome us there. But it's up to the Harbor Commission and the town of Stratford and, and and uh, if they're willing to accept our fleet, accept our boathouse, accept the fact that we are doing what we do, um, we could actually do something very beneficial, which is take a, a piece of property that's in trouble, um, build it, reconstruct it, put it back into service as a waterfront facility, and uh, hopefully do some really good things for the community in Stratford. Love to do that. That would be wonderful if only we can get the officials to work with us on that. Uh, so we have a lawyer. We have a plan where we're going to go. We've got lots and lots of stuff going on. And the CCB bumper stickers have arrived. They just went out in the mail. Uh, I'm just getting back from mailing them out. So those of you that have supported us, um, you got your bumper sticker on the way. If you would like to get a bumper sticker, you can take a picture of it and see it, what it looks like. It's up on the website. Uh, every $10 donation or better is going to get a dump, bump, bumper sticker. And with luck, we'll have these bumper stickers all over Connecticut because um, people are going to ask, what is that crossed sabers and that sail thing hanging on your bumper have to do? And you'll go to them and say, I support open water for everyone and isn't it a really cool bumper sticker so please make a contribution i will get you your bumper sticker in the mail immediately if not sooner and as always check out our website www.ctcommunityboating.org thank you for your support and uh, the battle rages on